spring marks the preparation for the Jersey Shore's peak season. For Atlantic City, it's the time when the casinos look to welcome visitors. But this year, the world changed in the middle of March when the COVID-19 outbreak became a global pandemic, forcing non-essential businesses, including New Jersey's casinos, to close. According to figures for the month of March, revenue from the seaside resorts, gambling halls, and sports betting plunged over 44 percent compared to last year. Caesars Entertainment CEO Tony Rodeo, a casino veteran and New Jersey native, spoke from Las Vegas about the company's success in the beginning of 2020. The company was off to the best start in maybe its history through the first two months of 2020. And I wanted to thank everybody for all the hard work and contributions of our team members across the entire enterprise for those incredible results. Incredible results. Rodeo believes the company can achieve again when they're given the green light to reopen. Because of that start, I have confidence that when we are able to reopen these businesses, that we're going to be able to hit the ground running. Currently, no definitive timeline has been given for casinos to begin operating. Right now, we don't know when our properties may be able to reopen. I know we all understand the need to stay at home and do whatever is necessary to stop the spread of this virus, no matter how long that may take. Many casino executives and gaming analysts anticipate that revenue for April will certainly be much worse for the industry since it will mark an entire month of the full shutdown. Reporting for New Jersey News Network, I'm Veronica Dudo.